Ferrari want Mercedes trick banned from Lewis Hamilton and George Russell's cars. Ferrari team principal Mattia Binotto has joined the list of rivals unhappy with Mercedes' new W13 car, following its unveiling at this week's second round pre-season testing in Bahrain. The Mercedes team certainly caught the eye of their rivals when wheeling their new car out onto the Middle East track, with motorsport Ross Braun describing the design as, a very extreme interpretation of the regulations and inevitably there will be a lot of debate. The Silver Arrows attracted attention after they adopted an O-side pod design to their 2022 model. Binotto's question marks however do not surround the absent side pods, but instead seems to have an issue with the Mercedes mirror assembly. The Ferrari chief believes the design takes advantage of the FIA's new, and much more stricter, regulations, and gives Toto Wolff's team an aerodynamic advantage. Speaking alongside Wolf at this week's testing, Ferrari man Binotta raised the issue. He said, on the mirrors, some are surprised. I find that quite surprising. That's not something we are expecting. I think in the spirit of that, some things are needed. I think for the future, they, need to be addressed. Already in the past, we always argued the mirrors should not have any aero purpose. They should be there just to look behind. I think the way, Mercedes, treated or designed their car, certainly there is a significant aero purpose in the mirrors itself and I think something we need to stop for the future. No doubt, because the risk is we will come in the future that all the teams will start designing mirrors that look like spaceships. I don't think that's what we are looking for as F1. The Ferrari boss is not the first man in the paddock to question the new Mercedes design, with Red Bull rival Horner reportedly accusing the Silver Arrows of rule-breaking already regarding their lack of side parts. Horner reportedly told Auto Motor Run Sport, the new Mercedes violates the spirit of the regulations. For us, there are some parts that are not legal. Despite this, Horner and his Red Bull team were quick to deny the claims, after a team statement was released shortly after on Thursday. Red Bull said, Christian Horner has not given any interviews regarding Mercedes' car. Any quotes being attributed to him this morning are incorrect. A later statement said, So we are clear, we have made no official comment regarding Mercedes' car and will not be doing so.